Hi guys, in this video, we will see what to do next after creating the project. So what's next? So basically in this part, I will show you how to do USB debugging for your app, like your app is running in your computer and how to get that app review in your mobile using USB debugging. And apart from that, I will show you something related to the UI components. So how you can install the UI component packages and use them in your project. So it's kind of a mix of both the things. Okay, so let's start. Basically, this is the last scaffolding that I have created. If you have seen my previous video, you can get this. I simply change a bit like it's view and then there is a text. So within this text, it's right, little, little written hello. Okay. So I will take you through the process of turning on the USB debugging feature. Okay. I will do a screen recording of my mobile and I will show you. So basically it's in the settings. In the settings because my phone is Xiaomi. So I need to check over here. Yeah. So within the setting there is this system and device here i have this additional setting here this developer option i am getting so in case in your mobile you are not able to see this developer option what you need to do you need to go to device information yeah like mine is miui so it's about the phone so here what I need, particularly in my I need to tap it like few times and then you it will tell you no need you are already a developer but if your developer option is not activated then you will tap like this so you uh, have to try if you are having Samsung and like uh, other phones so you just give it a search in Google like how to enable the developer option and once that part is done you come back here you will be able to see this develop option so this should be enabled this USB debugging need to be enabled then install via USB this need to be enabled and USB de uh, debugging security settings so it will give permission to the mobile that if something comes from the computer to USB debugging you should allow it to install or simulate okay and this is just to check like whether the app that is coming from your computer that is being installed in your like uh, phone through this uh, abd or if it is harmful or not it's having some malware in it. you can check that okay there are other options you can check it later but these are the basic things that you will need okay so that's it from the mobile preview setting and always Try to keep your this expo app updated. Okay, so that's it. Now we will see how to install the React native elements. So basically, if you have been into web development, I like I would like to tell you that most of the web developer used to prefer Bootstrap because of its grading system and because of its inbuilt components so they can change the style that's the later part but it's because of the inbuilt component so you don't need to do anything from scratch they have already done the hard work you need to simply copy the code and put it there so for button it will be like a button tag with some inbuilt like uh, some default classes like btn and btn hyphen primary then it will automatically like take all the styling uh, it will show you a nice uh, like colorful button with some text and all the shadows and all the effect. so same here so in react native it is something different to the react uh, like js so that is a web framework so in react js what was there that you can use the html tags but here you can't so simply you can't use that h1 h2 h3 directly over here okay so in this part what they have done for react native people is that react native elements you can check out other frameworks also you can simply search for 
react native ui components and you can get a number of lists like react uh, i think native is one there me or something i forgot the name but uh, for now we will be starting with this react native elements so let's start react native elements here it is click on view components okay let's go to doc first so we need to install this right this is the code because i am uh, my project is set up with npm node package manager so i'll be using this so if you have set up your project with yarn you should use this command so let's do this and since i am using visual studio code and i have opened the entire project in this particular like uh, uh, I so if I go over here, I'll create a new terminal. It will open in either CMD or PowerShell. That's not a problem. I'll put this code over here. Press enter. So this is installed. Okay. Now let's give it a try like what i will do i will simply go to this button i will import this thing this particular part to import the button so every time you need to import something like there are a number of things like card checkbox divider header icons everything so if you see like for divider also you need to import this so if you want to this import this divider you need to put a comma and paste it like this whatever component you will be importing you need to mention it over here that yes i'm going to import this component and use it in this application in this particular component or whatever it is okay so let's give it a try meanwhile i will put the screen recording it's not required because because my USB debugging is already enabled, so I don't need to like open the Expo app explicitly. It will be automatically invoked. So let's check it. It will be npm start. So once this project is started, yeah, the tunnel is ready. Wait for some time, otherwise, sometime it may crash. So it's until you get this thing. This tunnel is ready. I will make it local. Okay, so it's got changed. And using that, see, it's not connected with internet. Still, it's gonna work. So here you see there are three options like scan it using the QR code or the camera app with iOS and press A for Android emulator. So what I will do because uh, I'm having uh, the mobile app connected to the system directly. So it will send that instead of running the Android emulator in your system, it will send the app bundle to your mobile and it will automatically open the Expo app. So I will press A and as you can see over here that it's building okay nice so i can see the thing so let's change the text to hi android i save it see it's working fine and we can see that this particular import is there like react native elements and if you have imported this thing and it is not showing you any error then that means that it's almost perfectly you have done it so why not use it right now and check how it looks okay so let's check something like yeah i go to button and i will take this the first one and i should change this title like 
I'll make it in one line and I will make it click me. Mm -hmm. I will save it. You see, in the mobile phone, you can see the preview, it's showing the click me. So, this is the most basic stuff. In the next video, uh, I will work with the UI component like login page and some dashboard where you can put the components and organize those things. For the timing, what you can do for your learning purpose, you can make this page only like within this view, you make some beautiful alignments and check that part like how it is looking, put some header, footer and put imports of images over here make it look a good single page okay so that's it keep exploring keep learning thank you